Hey man, stay safe world. You already know what's going on. We gotta talk about this situation with T Core Stretch. Man, a British UK drill artist that basically got stabbed at Carney, man. It's a crazy ass situation in the middle of the day. Man, we gotta switch it up and go across the pond and talk about this situation that went down and the beef that might have caused this. But before we do, man, I'm gonna need y'all to like, comment, subscribe. We gonna run this up, man. So if y'all weren't familiar with T Core Stretch, he basically is like a UK drill artist that had a song, I guess that went semi viral i think it was called like clap if you go rich but right now it's not looking good i mean he basically was stabbed to death in broad daylight at the notting hill carnival in london man it's some crazy shit and it all kind of spawns what is looking like some type of rap beef that kind of basically caused this situation man so let's basically get into it so basically yesterday um at the end of carnival basically it was just like a stabbing in broad daylight there was actual video evidence and people were like i don't even want to post it i might post like a snippet of it on uh twitter that basically showed like people like walking through it it was like in a broad alley and shit it definitely looked like a targeted hit or something i think throughout the day there was like several other people that got kind of like cut up but like t course was like the only person that actually succumbed to their injuries and he ended up dying from the this stabbing situation there's video from the aftermath of just people just basically being there and stuff but then there was sort of elevation and another rapper who was another drill artist sort of got caught up in this situation and apparently ghostface 600 of block six which is like a uk gang that is known for like running amok basically got arrested for like basically having something to do with the situation i mean they had a whole like video of someone basically capturing footage of him basically getting arrested like in london that a day later they got like helicopters and police and an audi and stuff man it's like some real transporter shit like i don't know if y'all seen the transporter that's just like some american shit it's like some james bond shit bro like this shit is next level they pulled up not to mention the dude ghostface 600 he's like a notable member of this gang in london called block six and basically they're like a gang that has been around for a while like for the past years i mean he's known really for his antics and just being all around generally crazy and in doing so i guess like they even went as far as to diss the dude that fucking got stabbed i mean it's pretty dumb to go straight on social media after alleged stabbing in broad daylight where anyone could identify you basically and they straight up go online and diss this man they say niggas die every day b i ain't going carny i say making bread with my chargey wallahi so he's basically saying like I mean, he's just saying it's from what is that one movie? I think it was paid in full, basically, where they say like niggas get shot every day, but niggas die every day. And I guess that was like his main op and the beef that sort of caused this. I mean, I thought they were people thought they were cool for like the longest, you know, like especially I mean, it's not really like anything like too crazy where it was really posted on social media or anything like that but the fact that it led to like this situation is honestly super crazy and it definitely it looks like like block six has been running like crazy shit basically for the past couple years in the first place specifically this dude i mean there's like an ongoing joke that this dude is like gay or some shit or suck some dude or some shit i mean that's all speculation no one really even knows if that's true or not and they kind of like throw it on his name and shit but regardless like ghostface 600 is basically arrested for this whole situation and they're saying that he has something to do with it and i mean there's not really too much information going on about like the beef and what could have been because a lot of people assume that they were probably cool so i'm just gonna assume that it was probably some type of shit that i don't know people wanted to flex their street muscle you know just do what they had to do but taking out someone in the middle of broad daylight at carnival man like that's crazy there was like so many witnesses when you look at the videos on twitter like it's gruesome man like maybe i'll post it on 
the Patreon because it's definitely something that's too crazy to post on YouTube. I might just post like a snippet of it. But when you look at that shit, man, like it, it was broad daylight and it looked like someone got straight up shanked. So it's like whatever it was, it was definitely personal. Could have been he ran off on the plug type shit. Could have been any type of situation. I'm guessing it was like some runoff on the plug type shit because it's like really... I mean, who would really have like that? Unless you were straight crazy off the shit and off the drugs, man. Like, I don't really know anyone that would have that much animosity. Like, see, in the, in the U.S., it's a little different. Because it's like, it seems like it's so farther away, like, shooting someone that it's not so up close and personal. But to up close and personally stab someone in the middle of fucking broad daylight in London is crazy. But at the same time, it's like, yo... They probably seen him and they were like, yo, we have to get him now because we don't know when we're going to get him another time. He shouldn't have been out and about. I mean, if he had this pressure, especially with dudes from Block 6 in London who are known to be fucking crazy. So it's just like at the end of the day, I guess this is what happens when you're like a drill artist, even though it's not like the shit that he was doing was super negative right now. But at the end of the day, that same shit that you live by in your music and the energy that you put out and the stuff that you do behind the scenes is ultimately what's going to either let you live or let you die, man. But hey. Let me know in the comments what y'all think happened in this situation. If y'all think that this shit was caused by some, like, real beef like that or whatever the fuck you think the situation, man, was. But, hey, let me know what y'all think, man. Real say, say shit. Y'all already know what's going on. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe.